next full moon. So that's good. What is that like? Ten days away. Ten days away. Um, the Aquarius new moon occurs near in bulk this year and is the best time to set intentions around social justice, community, visionary game plans. And reclaiming your inspiration. Nice. Excellent. Good, good, good. Okay. Oh, welcome. Welcome. How are you? Hello there. Have you uh, been into the shop before? Small, I know. you might need is, uh, I can point it out. For sure, yeah. Please let me know if you need any help. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, for sure. Well, let's see. Today is... What is today? is flying by. Oh my goodness, well, if you're looking for the next Sabbath, I've got this book here. It's got all of the 2022 Sabbaths, and um, would you like me to read the back to you? Sure. new ways to honor the wheel of the year and connect with the cycles of the earth. This practical almanac presents fun and fresh ideas for rites, recipes, and crafts from both old world and modern traditions. Featuring some of the best writers in the witch and pagan community, Llewellyn's 2022 Sabbath's Almanac offers fascinating new perspectives on each Sabbath. You'll enjoy invoking the Green Man for Beltane, creating a story quilt for Yule, and so much more. And then it lists some contributors. And it says, includes more than 50 articles written for newcomers and experienced witches. Creative, low-cost arts, Quick and easy recipes for delicious appetizers, entrees, beverages, and desserts. An overview of astrological influences for each Sabbath season. Extended rituals for groups and individuals. Captivating pagan folklore and customs. Now, um, if you don't mind me asking, are you a solitary witch or... Are you part of a coven? Oh, very fascinating. Okay. Me, I'm a solitary witch. I have been practicing on my own for years. Um, however, uh, I am not opposed to the idea of being part of a coven. So, just gotta find the right people, you know? Yeah, definitely. So, I'm sure you know all about it. So, I want to keep you, please, feel free to roam about and let me know if you have any questions at all. For sure. Okay. Excellent. You know what? While we're in here, let me, um, let me light a candle. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna go to the other room and grab a candle. I 
happening anything good while I was gone? Excellent. Okay. So, I have this moon candle. Yes, please. Look around. Look around. symbolizes a period of time where you need to listen to your thoughts and trust your intuition to guide you through uncertainty. My eyes are getting terrible. You only have half the information needed to make a decision. There may be secrets you or others may be hiding under a false facade. Probably won't sell this one considering it has a little bit of damage, so let's just light it. Oh, this smells really good. Lighting a moon candle. Very nice. This will brighten the place up. So, anyway, are you from around here? As far as the almanac goes, um, it's uh, fourteen dollars, and uh, as you can see, it's a fairly good-sized book, and uh, it also has some sections for notes in there as well. So what I can say about this is that it starts with a salad. And then it immediately goes into a nice description of the um, Sabbath itself. Uh, it talks a little about, about the history and how it translates into modern traditions. It's very, very useful. Because, I don't know about you, but I really love learning about, you know, the different of origins of these Sabbaths and why we do things the way that we do things when we're celebrating the Sabbaths. And then it goes into a section called Cosmic Sway, which is the um, more Talks a bit about where the stars are, where the planets are in the sky. Talks about, for instance, on Samhain is also Halloween, and last year there was a new moon um, shortly after. nice to know where the moon is at any given time. It also talks about astrology, um, tarot, crystals, all that stuff. And then it moves into um, Thanksgiving as well. Um, now that is just for, um, you know, the U.S., but um, it also acknowledges that um, this is for uh, everyone. Everyone around the world can use this book. Uh, but I believe that the majority of their um, readers 
are from America. So, but everything can be celebrated exactly the way you want it to be celebrated. In Wicca, um, it's all about, uh, there's no right or wrong, you know. Um, it's all about celebrating the way you see fit and the way you feel comfortable. Sure, there are traditions, but nobody's gonna tell you that you can and can't do specific things. So, then it goes into tales, traditions, which I think is very cool, especially during Samhain. It's, you know, carving pumpkins, making jack o' lanterns, all that good stuff, and where we got that tradition from. One of my favorite sections is feasts and treats and it gives you quite a few different recipes for things for example this one says autumn orchard crumble apples and pears are the quintessential fruits of autumn they mingle beautifully in this autumn orchard crumble Warming spices such as cinnamon and ginger reflect the fire-colored leaves of autumn and counteract its cold weather. And then it gives you all the ingredients and the instructions. And if you ask me, this one sounds amazing. They also give you in sound section pomegranate bun. Pomegranate is the fruit of death, as apple is the fruit of life, celebrating both in this liminal time. Warming spices of ginger and cinnamon contrast with the cold beverage. So, this one would be a lot of fun to make. And then, one of my other favorite sections is called Crafty Crafts. So, for example, it <laughs> gives you spirit dolls, and it even has a picture. Would you like to see? Here it is. Spirit doll. And I think it just looks so pretty. made up of yarn and other natural materials. Let's see. It's made of something for the face, um, like an old doll head or perhaps a form made from a mold. Or it doesn't have to have a face. Like I said, everything is the way you want it. Or wadding for the body, straw, polyester, scraps of material, all work. Fabric or other materials to dress your doll. Let your imagination run with this one. Something for stability. Any kind of stick. This might even be optional. Inclusions. What you want to put in the doll. Herbs, crystals, amulets. You'll need an needle and thread and glue and then any type of embellishments that you see fit. And this could be as simple or as intricate as you'd like. And then it talks about candle magic around Samhain and it says Samhain which contains the roots of our modern home means summer scent, but it's much more than that. It is believed that the way to the other world is easier to access during this time. This is also the final harvest of the season and a time to set aside stores of food for the winter. So, it 
talks about candle divination and then finally talks about sound ritual or invoke ritual or Palatine ritual whatever sabbat you're celebrating I just think that these ones are so fun and then it ends off with any notes they may have now I have all of the books from previous years I would say from 2018 and on we've got so many in storage um, usually they sell out but we've got a few leftovers you know but all of my books are completely empty and that's because I honestly just like keeping them this way and I like to use my to record everything I learned about Wicca. Do you have one? You do? Okay. Well, if you ever need to come back for one, I'm there with the books. So, we also have the planner. Did you want to take a look at that? It's uh, very, very helpful. So, yeah, this is uh, the 2022 Witch State book. Um, also, the calendar. You see the calendar over there? It's hanging up. Yeah, we've got them uh, on top of the little shelf over there, just kind of laying flat right beneath it. All right. So it says, practical advice for a year filled with magic. Live better, stay organized, and celebrate your craft every day. With Luan's 2022 Witches Day this wonderful tool features beautiful illustrations from award-winning artist Jennifer Hewitson. A variety of ways to celebrate the Wheel of the Year. Powerful wisdom from practicing witches. It says that it has Sabbath musings, TC recipes, magical tips, full moon rituals, tips for making potions, magical gardening ideas, activating your third eye. That's very, very useful. And it says, an added glance guide to the best days to plant and harvest. Moon Lauren phases for successful spell casting, which is very, every witch needs to know exactly where the moon is at any given time. In the cycle, not in the sky. <laughs> Don't worry. And daily planetary color correspondences. Uh, daily planetary and the color correspondences to empower your magical work. Spiral bound, lay flat design with calendar spreads that make it easy to write in appointments and special events. So, it's a daily calendar. Um, and it gives you a guide on how to use planners and it kind of gives you like a what do you call it um like a legend of what all the little signs mean gives you the planets the astrological signs the zodiac signs for instance um my zodiac sign is cancer um what is yours Oh, nice. Okay, excellent. So, it says, it gives you moon quarters. It gives you moon in the signs. So, it'll tell you. Today, uh, the moon moves out of this and moves into this. You know. Okay. Um, moon void, of course. Planetary movement. Planting and harvesting. And time zone changes. This also gives you a working with the new moon. I feel that it's um, very 
very, very helpful in, in this as opposed to the almanac, but I think more people get the almanac than the planner. At least, you know, as we're taking inventory, that's what we see, but who knows. It also says, gives you like a little section of how to use uh, the elements to help your, your magic. Make sections for, for all four. Transform any beverage into a potion. Very cool. Enchanting your third eye. And then it begins by giving you January, the full month, a little scope. And of course it tells you that on January 14th, the um, retrograde starts, Mercury retrograde. And uh, it actually ended on February 3rd, I believe. Um, and then moves into daily. And each thing has a nice little blurb about things and it's very, very helpful. It's just nice to read. Some of them just have art. Um, let's see. This one has goat cheese dip. I personally don't eat goat cheese, but for people who do, that's uh, that's really cool. Mercury Direct on the 30th, yep, that's right. Excellent. So, this is just a really useful tool. And, uh, so, as you can see, it'll tell you that um, this day is a good harvesting day. This day is a good planting day, same here. And looks like the next harvesting day is um, next week. No. <laughs> so, what do you think? Do you think that um, these might be of help to you? Okay, yeah, excellent. Let me see, it also has a little section for notes here as well. Mm -hmm. Also has some moon void of course data for 2022. It has all of the eclipses. So, for instance, there's a solar eclipse um, at uh, 4:28 p.m. on April 30th. On May 16th at 12:14 a.m. there's a lunar eclipse. Um, October 25th at 6:50. There's a solar eclipse. And then at 6 02 a.m. on November 8th, there's a lunar eclipse. Gives you all the full moons, it gives you all the planetary retrogrades. Um, so the next Mercury retrograde is not until May. Uh, it starts May 10th and then ends June. gives you a bunch of herbs and their magical correspondences. Gives you information about all your chakras. Gives you a few gemstones and their magical correspondences as well. Basically it's just a big appendix. Gives you the moon sign so that you know um, going on for when the moon goes into each different sign. So, and then it gives you the color correspondences to each day. So, for example, Monday um, are gray, lavender, white, silver, and ivory. Tuesdays are red, white, black, gray, maroon, scarlet. Wednesdays are yellow, and so on. Yeah, it's 
really just super in depth. And that's what I love about these and the almanacs, and they make a few other things as well. So, but here, let me give these to you. And let's see. So, are you um, planning anything for the next uh, full moon? So this is just straight up water. Um, so you know, feel free. Um, these are just a dollar. Um, I also have a few different crystals. Did you get a chance to take a look at the crystals? Oh, we have a little baggie. Oh, okay, let me see. Let me see. Oh. amazing, right? It also has some herbs in there as well. <sighs> Let me read it to you. It says, the crystal in this candle was charged by the energy of the new moon. The energy of the new moon is innovation. Under the dark sky, a lot can be illuminating. Moonstone can help you welcome new beginnings. When you work with the moonstone in sync with the moon cycle, your internal layers, shedding light on the thoughts and patterns you need to let go of in order to pave your pathway to greatness. And um, it's actually a swaying candle. It says that the, um, the scent is twilight woods. How nice. Very nice. 
very nice. And uh, let's see. It says trim wick to a fourth of an inch before lighting. Keep the candle free of any foreign materials, including matches and wick trimmings. Only burn the candle on a level virus surface. Do not burn the candle for more than four hours at a time. So, you know, when you're doing your rituals, um, your candle magic, just make sure you put it out um, with a little, a little snuff tool. And, um, just uh, don't blow out the candle, okay? Did you want to get this today? Don't be is yours as well. We also have some sage bundles. Um, I have some eucalyptus here. I know. So good. And then this is a kind of like a Frankenstein bundle. It is made of different herbs and then it has a tiny little dried citrus on it. It smells really good. Oh, I know, right? So these are really nice and then we have other kinds of sage over there as well. Um, so it's totally up to you on what you like to burn or perhaps maybe you just like some um, incense. So it is completely up to you. Maybe it's a little... this bundle? Yeah, for sure. Excellent. Okay. And let me put the eucalyptus bundle back. I really love this bundle. Mm. Um, we also have some protective oils. show you how it works. Um, this is a ritual body oil, so um, you can put it on yourself um, before or during your ritual. You can actually anoint your candles with this as well. So, let me uh, show you how it works. So, put a little bit on your wrist. And one of my favorite things to do as well is... Would you like to smell? Yeah. It smells very nice. One of my favorite things to do with this is um, actually to put it into my bath. I'm taking a bath. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, um, it has a few crystals in it as well, some, you know, of course, herbs. Um, but yeah, that's the little clinking you hear. It's the crystals inside. So, we have that, and then, let's see. Oh, did you want to get a little selenite half moon, mainly just for decoration. Um, you can also use it as a paperweight, um, but I, I love this. This is a great choice. You want to go ahead and grab it? For sure. Absolutely. Okay. Excellent. And um, did you have any questions about anything else? Of course, yeah. A tarot deck? Which one? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, the Heavenly Bodies Astrology deck. For sure. So, let's see. It has this beautiful box. Um, and it has this sleeve. and 
deepen your understanding of astrology. Become your own astrologer by creating visual spreads of an astrological placement from your cosmic blueprint to what's happening in the skies right now. Um, you can actually get a copy of your birth chart online. Um, and then it says, use the deck as an oracle to communicate with angels and spirit guides. So, what's on the inside of Beautiful, beautiful box, and it has such gorgeous artwork. It has a little guidebook. Beautiful, the artwork is in here. I mean, it's just gorgeous. And it will give you, for example, we hope, tell you all about this card. So, say you put on a spread in front of you and pull them over and you want to learn more about that card, and why it may be coming up for you. All of these cards. It also gives you information about the deck itself and how to use it. And I'm sure that it has some spreads in here that you can do. Let's see. Single card spread, a card a day, just one card. Soul growth spread, this is. Uh, and where the wisdom will take you. So what you are learning, how you're learning it, and where the wisdom is going to take you. The third eye spread. So it's four cards. Not bad. And then it gives you all of the cards. So and then it gives you a little the person who made this deck, which I think is so cool. So her name is Lily. And it's all very interesting stuff in here. And then it gives you the deck itself. So the cards are Gorgeous. Every single one of them is so beautiful. So, and just give them a quick shuffle. are a little bit big, but you'll get used to it for sure. Make sure you shuffle them really, really well, okay? So, 
leaving with lots of goodies today. I want to thank you for visiting my little cottage.